Hi, welcome to a short knowledge share video on the X20 Ethos. Today's video I'm just going to run through the model wizard, creating a new model. So from the main menu, choose the system. From system, choose model select. To create a new model, select the plus symbol. And choose which type of model you're going to create. In this case, we're going to create an airplane. Choose the arrow. Um, first of all, choose the number of engines. In this case, we're going to have a single engine with one channel. Then choose whether you're going to have dual channels for ailerons and dual channels for flaps. So in my case, I'm going to have two channels for ailerons and two channels for flaps. Then choose your tail type. So you have options of traditional V-tail. No. So in this case, we're going to traditional. And then choose the elevator and rudder channels. So in this case, we're going to have one channel for both elevators and one channel for the rudder. And then lastly, choose a name. So we're going to call it. And we'll choose one of the pre-built pictures. Let's go to multi, see what that's like. That's great. Um, and then if you decide to change the image, let's choose easy. Back to home, you can see your model. Today's video, I'm just gonna run through the basic setup of the timer. So you can edit your timer two ways. Um, the first way is by a long press on the model screen for the timer that you want to edit. Alternatively, you can go to your model settings and then into the timer menu. So there's three timers by default. We're going to edit the first one. And what we'd like to do is to have a countdown timer. And with the countdown timer, we want it to call out um, the, the countdown after one minute and um, have that spoken through the speaker. So what we'll do is we'll choose the mode. We want to do a countdown. So rather than count up, we want to count down. And let's choose, um, let's choose five minutes, short flight. And let's choose the countdown mode, which we want speech. So that will s speak out the, the, the values and the countdown starts, so that's when we want it to start um, counting, speaking out. So let's change that to um, one minute. And the countdown step is 30 seconds. Um, the active condition, let's do it on throttle. So I want to use the throttle trigger and I would like to reset it with one of the momentary switches. I'm going to choose this one here, SH. OK, and that's now set. So back on to the model, you can see the timer is set to five minutes and we can see if we increase the throttle, the countdown will start and it will continue, even if the throttle is dropped. We can change that setting if need be. Now, if you want to reset the timer with a momentary switch, it takes it back to five. Today's video, we're going to go through a basic model setup throttle cut. So, from the model main menu, Choose the model, then go to Mixers. In Mixers, we want to choose the throttle. Choose Edit Mix. Then we want to enable the throttle cut. We want to choose an active condition. In this case, we're going to use a switch. And that's SF in the up position. Then we want to choose the trigger value. Default is minus 85%, so this is the minimum condition. Let's increase that to 0%, and what that will mean is 
um, anything below halfway point of the throttle will when when the active condition the switch is down is met the throttle cut will come into play so we can see the action in the the graph so without throttle cut the output is seen with the throttle over zero percent if we use the throttle cut it doesn't work if we drop the throttle below the zero percent you can see that it drops the output the throttle is cut so we can change that value if you would like it always to be on you can increase that right up to 100 percent so no matter what what the throttle position is it will drop and the throttle cut will come into play. Thank you for watching.